Arsenal Fan TV, you know what, I'm stood right now on a balcony here in New Orleans. They had a big parade that was going on earlier, right down here on the road, and it was absolutely brilliant. But rain started to fall in, but we've got to give you Transfer Daily. I know what everybody wants to find out. What's the latest news on Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? Now, he played 90 minutes for Borussia Dortmund against Freiburg, and um, that was a real surprise, of course. A lot of people was thinking that they were going to um, rest him for that game. But a lot of interesting stuff happened during that game. He didn't score in the game, but the Dortmund fans unveiled a banner that said that no player is bigger than the team. And sometimes he got jeered throughout the game. So that kind of suggests to me that he's going to be leaving Borussia Dortmund. And Borussia Dortmund's um, manager and Borussia Dortmund's owner have kind of suggested that he's going to be on his way out. The owners of the club 100% want to sell him during this transfer window. And um, I think that this deal is going to get done. We are nearing a conclusion to this. There's still a couple of days to go towards the end of the transfer window. But I think Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang will end up at Arsenal. There's a difference in price. I've been saying it for the past couple of days, but I think this is going to get resolved. It's obvious that he's not going to remain at Borussia Dortmund. It's obvious that they want to sell him. Arsenal want to buy him. There's nobody else who are really in for him at the moment. And I do think it's going to happen. I do think the valuation will be met. But we're going to have to wait and see. Be patient, as I said yesterday, to get this deal over the line. What about Johnny Evans? That was another one that looked very likely, but Johnny Evans got injured in the game against Liverpool. Surprising win, actually, for West Brom away at Liverpool. But Johnny Evans coming off with a hamstring injury in that game. And Alan Pardew himself, the manager of um, West Brom, admitting that that might scupper the deal. Will Johnny Evans end up at Arsenal? How bad is the injury? Again, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Still, to me, it looks like a deal. If it's not a bad hamstring, it looks like a deal that will be made. If it's a very bad hamstring that keeps him out for a long time, maybe Arsenal will leave it and wait until the summer. But again, I mean, so many things happen around these transfers. Who knows? Finally, Ozil. What's happening with Meza Ozil? I noticed that there was a paper up in Manchester that lowered the odds on him joining Manchester United. The rumours that I've been hearing coming out of Arsenal is that both him and Jack Wilshere are going to sign a new contract at Arsenal. But until it's done, who knows? Ozil deal has still not been done. I was chatting to a lot of fans over in New Orleans and they're saying that, listen, we've got to get Mesut Ozil tied down. But Ozil is still in that position of power where he doesn't have to sign anything yet. He can wait till the end of the season, get a big signing on fee. But then he might be looking at what's happened to Johnny Evans and saying, what if I've got a bad injury? What will happen to me then? So, the Mesut Ozil thing, Arsenal need to get this done. And what a coup it would be if they could get Ozil and Jack Wilshere done and also the Aubameyang thing. Couple of days left to the end of the transfer window, but we're going to have to be patient and wait and see what happens. But I do think Aubameyang to Arsenal is going to happen.